Hey everybody, Mark O'Neill here with O'Neill Outdoors. Just got set up. Uh, I did a little, or a real quick walk in. Did a little bit of scouting. Winds kind of be blowing today and picking up, so I wanted to get out here a little bit earlier, but just couldn't. But I figure we got two or three hours to maybe put a couple coyotes down. So the plan is we're going to hit three or four of these canyons, post up for 10 to 30 minutes, depending on what we see. Hopefully get it done. So with that, Let's get the coyote hunt underway. As you can hear, the wind has picked up immensely. We're gonna change tactics a little bit and I probably will come out here the next couple of days earlier in the morning and catch it before the wind rises up. So this will probably be over a two or three day span, but I guarantee you over the next two or three days, we're gonna get a few coyotes down, mark my words. I think we're gonna hang out a little bit, see if the wind doesn't die down just a bit. And then we'll give her another try today before we just pack it in. So right now I'm gonna go up here, see if I can't get a good view of anything crossing these other two canyons. And if so, I'll drop back down, grab my rifle. We'll uh, walk the bottom of the canyon until we get to one of these other um, gullies. Walk the gully up, hit the ridge, turn on the speaker and shoot a dog. catch it it was probably 60 70 yards it kind of startled me a little bit so when I kind of popped up a little uh, it started to scoot and run away try to get it to stop got one shot off on it but it was hauling ass I think I missed but I'm gonna go take a walk check that out come back grab my gear head over to the next Canyon and hopefully be able to call one last one in before I call it a day this wind is just terrible 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 and it's coming just in the, the worst direction possible so something you got to deal with in the panhandle i still have a lot of confidence in uh, the next couple of days i can't believe that thing snuck in under me that's embarrassing all right well i walked over here and checked out the little gap opening i saw that coyote run up and through i actually found my bullet impact in my bullet right there so kind of interesting took up over there somewhere I don't see any blood or anything so I'm fairly confident that I did not hit him and with this wind still picking up I'm thinking about just calling it a day I'll head back out to here tomorrow extra early and get on them right here Good morning, everybody. Day number two. Uh, wind has died down, but we do have a cold front moving in midday, so I'm assuming the wind is going to pick back up. I got out here a little bit earlier, and we're gonna make our way up to the next ridge. The clouds are starting moving as well. And I'm sure you can hear it, there is a little breeze, but like I said, that's probably going to pick up and get worse as the day continues.
Well, that sucks. Huh. Kind of disappointed at myself, but that's the second in a row that I've missed. Second coyote in a row I've missed. It was on the run, just like the other one, but it be a 200 yard shot. Man, that's frustrating. Well, a little checked my pride, but besides that, we're gonna pack up, head over the next ridge and find another one. So no time dwelling on a loss. Let's just go ahead and go on to the next one. And missed a couple coyotes so far, but today is going to be the redeeming day. Today we're going to make it happen. So got out here early, sun just crested over. You can see. And it is, I think when I looked it was like 17 degrees out. We have a fair chance of snow, about two or three hours. So I figure I'd wear my snow jacket just in case and it's a little breezy it's gonna be a windy day up until that front pushes through but it's around 17 degrees high today is gonna be upper 20s so we'll see hopefully it does snow and this jacket doesn't stand out like a sore thumb <sighs> who knows but today's day three of the coyote hunt and i got a feeling we're gonna make it happen So until it starts snowing, or if it even does snow, what I plan to do is instead of setting up like I have been against some of this tall sage and the yuccas, like that dude right there, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up in the rocks right in here. That way the white blends in a little bit better, but I won't stand out like a sore thumb. Okay, so there's a coyote about, I'd say 250 to 300 yards, probably 250. And he's just sitting inside a bush. And I want him to come in so I can get it on camera because I know it 250 plus with just a GoPro, I'm not gonna have a good video of it, but. He's just sitting, and he doesn't have his eyes fixed on me, so he's looking left and right, like he's waiting for something, or he's making sure everything's clear, but he's not, he's not fixed on me, I don't think he sees me. I've got a couple of rocks, and you know, a little bit of grass in front of me, but I think we're safe. I'm going to wait and see if his buddies show up. I smoke this dude. We made a good shot on him. <laughs> I finally redeemed myself. Mind you, he wasn't on a full out sprint, but I was shooting from up there, right in the middle of the screen, and Took the shot just underneath those two big cedars and I'm guessing it's about 250 to 300 like I was saying. Later on I'll go grab the truck, my range finder and uh, give it a shot and see how far it was but I think this is the same coyote that I was took a shot at yesterday and it hauled ass after I missed, but 
feels good to finally have some success and not botch a shot. All right. Got him. <laughs> Hope y'all take a better look at him. It is a male. He, uh, yep, definitely a male. Big, not a whole lot of ticks. Really good, good fur coat looking at him. Nice white teeth. The other side, yeah. Good teeth. Coyote skull, right there. Well, that's it. I'm not gonna bother you with any more video of me on any uh, other sets or anything, but headed back to the truck, gonna pack it in. Wind is definitely starting to pick up. What a great adventure over the last three days. If you've enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like and the subscribe button. We really do appreciate all your support of the channel. And, you know, we got a lot coming up. A whole lot of lake fishing, a whole lot of bay fishing, flounder gigging trip in just a couple of weeks. And then once spring really starts to ramp up and the temperature increases, then we're gonna be out here doing a lot more coyote hunting. So we got a whole lot of great stuff in the works and coming up, so you don't wanna miss it. I assure you it's gonna be a fantastic year. It just goes to show you, you don't ever wanna quit or give up. You just keep hunting. With that, I'm Mark O'Neill with O'Neill Outdoors. Y'all take care, stay safe.